second graders welcome back to learning with them if you're new to this channel then my name is manika and i'm a former mathematics educator this is a part of my series maths with grade 2 today we are going to learn what are ones tens and hundreds if you like to learn from these videos then please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell just below this video Are you ready to learn with them? Then let's get started. Let's learn hundreds, tens and ones. Charlie worked in a bank. Many people visited the bank to deposit money in their bank accounts. Charlie counted their money and deposited it in their bank accounts. He had found an easy way to count their money. Bundling. He counted the notes and made their bundles. One single note is called ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. He bundled ten ones into one small bundle called tens. Then he counted the small bundles of tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. He bundled 10 ten tens into one big bundle called hundreds. Bundling makes counting easier. Let's try to count this money. How much money is there in all? Let's count. There are 1 and 2. Two bundles of hundreds. One, two, three, and four. Four bundles of tens. And one, two, and three ones. That means there are two hundreds, four tens, and three ones. Two hundreds means two hundred. Four tens means forty, and three ones is three. So the total money is two hundred and forty-three rupees. Let's try one more example. Can you count the total money here? Let's do it. One, two, and three. Three notes of hundreds. One, one note of ten, and one, two, three, and four. Four coins of ones. Three hundred can be written as three hundred. One ten can be written as just ten, and four ones is just four. So, can you tell what is the total money? Excellent, three hundred and fourteen rupees. It's time for fun facts with them. Did you know the prefix hecto means hundred? As 
such, the word hectogram means 100 grams. And dectagon means a 100-sided shape. Isn't that awesome? Every three-digit number has hundreds, tens and ones. The number 365 has three hundreds, six tenths and five ones. The number 982 has nine hundreds, eight tenths and two ones. It's time for practice. Count the hundreds, tens and ones. Let's do this. There are one and two. Two bundles of hundreds, that means two hundreds. One and two. Again, two bundles of tens, which can be written as two tens, which is 20. And let's count the ones now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven ones can be written as just seven. So the total number of six are 227. Good job. You're doing great. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can also learn with them. And please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new video. I'm going to see you with a new maths lesson now. Till then, bye-bye.